Right, welcome, ladies and gents. Let's talk about something kind of a hot topic, I guess, that YouTube doesn't like, but Sound of Freedom. Now, this is a movie which has seemingly gone against the grain on multiple levels and is being lambasted in the media, Hollywood, etc. Uh, and it's interesting because this is a film about, a, you know, a very real issue, child trafficking, right? Like, it's a, it's a real issue, it goes on, uh, and it's pretty severe, it's pretty grotesque, disgusting. And, uh, and I thought, I, silly me, I thought this was something we could all get behind. <laughs> and we can, for the most part. But this is being segmented in the media as something which is right-wing. It's not. Everyone wants to protect children outside of a very small sector of humanity. And it's that small section of humanity, media being one of them, that is seemingly trying to divide everyone on this topic and make it expressly political. It's not political. This is moralistic, right? It's a moral quandary. Do you want children to be trafficked and grotesque things happen to them? No? Cool. No worries. It's got nothing about left wing or, or right wing. It's firmly down the line. It's not a political movie. This is a story about something which happens. And you've got the likes of MSNBC getting nonsense douchebags on, talking about QAnon fantasies and all this kind of crap. And it is crap. Um, Sound of Freedom is just a, a movie which has this as a subject matter um, and Disney interestingly tried to bury this movie they didn't want to release it until the producers bought it back basically and now Angel Studios um, managed to distribute it but there are accusations that go well above even the media apparently apparently theatres are suppressing Sound of Freedom now be it Fluke issues that are going on in theatre chains. Ah, oh, the, the the screen doesn't work miraculously. Down to oh, the lights are the lights are failing. You can't go in that one. Ah, oh, the 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 aircon's broke. I'm trying to make it very uncomfortable in very select screens. Um, but AMC Theatres has responded to these reports that AMC chain itself was suppressing the released sound of freedom so what is it let's get into it right there's been a number of viral videos speculating that amc theaters were suppressing the film by shutting off the air conditioning or creating random emergencies that resulted in moviegoers having their tickets refunded tiktok user it, it isn't head daisy whatever shared a video where a woman says so I've been seeing all over TikTok that people are going to watch the movie The Sound of Freedom and these weird things are happening like random emergency evacuations, the air conditioning not working and having to leave the theatre. And I thought, no, that's probably just something that's happening in other theatres and other places. So I took me and my daughters to go watch The Sound of Freedom today and about an hour and 20 minutes into the movie, we get a random emergency evacuation. None of the staff knows what's going on. The mall wasn't it wasn't being evacuated, just the theatre, and all they did was refund us our money with no explanation. She concluded, but I guess you can call me a conspiracy theorist. Hmm. Shady stuff, if true. Just as an FYI, I have reached out to Angel Studios for a screener of this, because you can't watch this in the UK. So, I am trying to get access to it, uh, but it's proven difficult. Oh. I'll shut that off. Oh, I'm bloody TikTok player. But anyway, there was another TikTok video from user whatever uh, showing the user saying, so don't know if any of you have already been to see The Sound of Freedom, but my friends and I just walked out and we are curious what your experience were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets, paid for them. They were claimed, got the link sent, and this was an AMC theater in Pineville, North Carolina. At some point today, the tickets got refunded to my friend, and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyways to the theatre after dinner, and they're like, oh, well, we re refunded all tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theatres. Okay, whatever, we don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can still watch it. Some shady stuff, if true. So we got thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no air conditioning and we just are curious why they didn't let us know. There was no one in that theatre. 
It was us four and four other people, eight people in the theater on a Friday night. There was air conditioning in the lobby. There was air conditioning in the hallways. There was air conditioning in the bathrooms, not the theaters. They don't have the bartender or anything in the theater. I smell something stinky and I think it's shit. <laughs> uh, so anyway, in a follow up, she questioned, uh, how many people do you know would actually still go to a theater knowing your tickets have been refunded to check on your tickets? Not that many people, uh, not that many people. We did because we are not dumb and also that was divinely inspired for God to push us to keep going here to find out what these theatres are doing to keep this message from getting out. I don't care what you think about anything Hollywood, a message is a message and who cares who the message is. Go see the effing movie and be damned what your theatre tells you if it refunds your tickets, go anyways. I'll just scroll down trying to avoid these TikToks playing. Uh, in response to these videos and likely others like them, AMC Theatre CEO Adam Aaron shared to Twitter, really bizarre. Fear, uncertainty and doubt floating around Twitter that we are suppressing attendance for Santa Freedom. Yesterday we showed that movie 3,000 times at our 570 US theatres and more than a hundred... There's only 500... Oh, maybe they've only got 570 theatres showing it. I was going to say, if they've only got 570 theatres, that's tiny. Um, and more than 100,000 people watched it at AMC theatres. 100,000 people, that's, a, that's good. Um... Misinformation on Twitter is astonishing. Bots, haters. I mean, the TikToks aren't from bots. Uh, a day later, he issued another tweet, writing, Let's put this ridiculous conspiracy theory to bed. Friday to Saturday, more than 250,000 people watched Sound of Freedom at AMC in the US. He then quoted Angel Studios' head of distribution, writing, uh, Angel Studios' head of distribution, no other theatre chain in the world has shown more support for Sound of Freedom and Angel Studios than AMC. Hmm. Uh, and then Angel Studios co-founder Jeffrey Harmon responded to Aaron's original tweet saying, Adam, I'm a co-founder at Angel Studios and I want to personally thank you for how amazing a partner you have been. Many of your managers have reached out to me and personally told me they love what is happening and have worked so hard to bring a great experience to Sound of Freedom fans. And then the CEO, Neil Harmon, uh, also responded to Aaron's first tweet. He says, we are so grateful that you stepped up to support this film. Thank you for your partnership. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Coach uh, of Echo Base Network says, the only thing that he has tweeted out about Sound of Freedom is the response to the suppressing and the apparent sabotage. All of the stories that so many of you have shared, that's the only thing that he has done and he actually questions whether we are bots and haters. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. If this is true, pretty garbage. I wouldn't put it past people. But it's, it's a bit suspect that the CEO and co-founders are then saying, yeah, cheers. But maybe they're doing it just to keep the peace. I don't know. I don't know. I think if people have actually had a personal experience with this, I think that's a different matter. I'm pretty certain Nick from Echo Base Network had... Um, a similar situation happened to him but i don't know what do you guys make of this i mean it's not going to it's not a stretch that hollywood would look to suppress this in some shape or form and i will say this even if it's not amc directly right like i, I i'm not going to put it past am i'm not going to say amc are the ones on high telling everyone to you know fuck up the screening basically but if there's some blue haired purple pink freak that works at amc wanting to sabotage the movie yeah i wouldn't put it past them personally employees do things like this all the time that's important they really do uh and they might be doing this to you know get one up on them dirty right wingers for not wanting kids to be diddled or some crap but anyway leave your thoughts down below cheers guys hit subscribe take care bye bye now